today we are taking a look at two of the best and most popular Blender add-ons from VFX Guide. These tools will help you speed up your workflow tremendously and make your projects look more detailed in just few simple clicks. The add-ons we are talking about are OCD and Cracker. Both are simple yet very useful add-ons. OCD helps you procedurally add damage to your model's edges. Cracker, on the other hand, helps you add cracks to any object, which has a significant impact on the overall look of the project. Let's begin with one-click damage. In real life, razor-sharp edges don't exist, but in 3D, every edge is by default infinitely sharp. This is both unrealistic and doesn't look good, as light doesn't bounce on sharp edges. Not only that, but damage can tell a story about your model as it shows the effect of time. So once you install OCD, you can find it in the end panel. Select the object you want and add damage to it, and click Make Damage. By default, the Musgrave texture is used to create the damage, but you can change it to any texture you want like clouds, Voronoi, wood, magic, and so on. You can even import your own custom textures. Furthermore, you have sliders to control the scale of the damage in addition to the amount. Hidden Apply would make your changes permanent. This will also automatically create two materials and assign them to the different parts of the mesh, one for the outside shell and the other for the damaged part. This is very helpful because it would be a hassle to try to select each crack manually. Another workflow enhancing feature in OCD is multi-selection feature. It allows you to damage more than one object at a time. Other features include recall function, which allows you to revert back to all the damages you made for the mesh. And when pressing Ctrl or Command while clicking the recall button, the add-on will bring back the original object while the damage stays intact. There is also the ability to use most recent settings. If you hold Ctrl while clicking on the Make Damage button, the add-on will apply the damage with default or the last settings you used. This one is still an experiment feature, but if you hold Ctrl while clicking the Apply button, the add-on will make the damage more detailed with denser polygons. Cracker add-on, on the other hand, is a handy tool for making cracks on any object you want. This version also comes with a tool called Stomper, which helps to create a sort of impact point between all the selected chunks. So to start using Cracker, there is no interface on the end panel like OCD, so you need to use the hotkeys Ctrl plus W, this will put you inside the tool, and now you can create as many cracks as you want. The way it works is by selecting your object and using the assigned hotkey and the list of all the shortcuts should appear. You're gonna use these to tweak the look of the cracks on your mesh. For example, Q is to use taper, S for scale, R for rotation, and so on. To adjust the different values, you just move your mouse left and right. You can change your crack's position, width, displacement, in addition to the bend, angle, and direction. You can also add details by moving the mouse scroll wheel up and down. To apply changes, you can hit the left mouse button, and to cancel the operations, you either use escape or the right mouse button. The add-on separates the objects into different separate meshes with each crack, but if you want to continue the cracks within the same object, hold the shift button while applying the changes. This will apply the crack but keeps all the parts on a single object. So if you want to check these couple of add-ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.